compass, have a protractor, right, show the camera, have something to write with, right, and have some highlighters, especially because what we're going to do today is page 210, and we're going to finish out lesson one, page 210. Okay, a meet measured each of the inscribed angles that intercept a semicircle. He conjectured that the measure of any inscribed angle that intercepts a semicircle arc is equal to 90 degrees. Do you agree or disagree with Amit's conjecture? Well, let's go ahead and highlight the vocabulary. And like the previous video, page 209, um, I used yellow for semicircle. No, I used yellow for inscribed angle. Highlight that up. Um, follow that up with the other highlight color. I hope you have two or three even to talk about the semicircle. So I'm going to draw in what a semicircle is a half circle. By the way, if there's ever a vocabulary word that you're not sure about, our section of the book has these yellow pages at the end, and in there you can see vocabulary words. And so semicircle actually pops up on page G. Hmm. It doesn't. I thought semicircle would be in here. Uh, I will come back to that one, but I'll let you know. Use your resources. Now, in order to agree or disagree, let's go ahead and just say, I'm going to make a statement. Uh, think about it for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do you agree with Amit or not? I agree with him. Let's prove why. But if you disagree, you better have an example that says why. Um, there is a way to like formally prove it, like it's this is true for everything. But all we really need to do right now is just show one example. Two, maybe. Okay. Well, a semicircle, you need to draw the diameter. So sketching in the secant line that runs through the middle of the circle. Right? There it is. The center of the circle, the secant line that goes through, it creates a half circle on one side and a half circle on the other. And I could arbitrarily, that means without really concerning it, I could make the line for this semicircle happen here or here or here or here. It doesn't really matter. I just randomly picked. So whatever I find out for this statement probably is true for any other statement that I make. Um, I'm going to make two intercepted, or sorry, I'm going to make two inscribed angles. Now I'm, again, randomly or arbitrarily picking a point not exactly where the lines cross, somewhere out here, and I'm going to draw a in. I'm going to draw an inscribed angle. So from here out, draw an angle, and from here to the other place where this secant line crosses the circle, draw another ray. Well, that looks like a 90 degree angle. Let's confirm it with measuring it. But like it's like the corner of a piece of paper. Okay. Circle goes on, the circle of the protractor goes on the vertex. You line up the black line of the protractor with one of the arrows, and then the other one, oh, it's perfect. It goes right through the 90 degrees. So we're gonna let everyone know it's a 90 by putting a box in there. Let's try another location. Let's try like over on the other side. Maybe it's, maybe we just got the, the nice semicircle like randomly. Maybe it's gotta be in a different location. Same thing though. Draw a ray from this spot, this point on the circle, through the other place where the cord, the secant line, crosses the, like, creates the diameter. So there's one ray, arrow, if you will, and then here's another. Be as precise as you can be. That looks like a 90 degree angle. It looks a little weird, like, I'm getting totally distracted by this angle up here, so I guess maybe I can kind of like erase it and not talk about, I don't need to erase it, just just maybe a light erase. I just wanna be very clear, I'm only talking about this inscribed angle and let's measure it, so. It's a little less than 90, but I wonder if I, I can blame, I'm gonna blame myself, I'm gonna say that as a human, I didn't make this perfect. I think maybe I like I, I shot through there a little bit or I shot through there a little bit, but it's, it's close enough to 90 that my human error is going to say, yup, that should work. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Agree. So there's example number one. There's example number two. We agree. Inscribed angles. Inscribed angles on semicircles 
or half circles are 90 degrees. Okay. Oh, no, Siri wants to talk to me about this thing. You be quiet. Okay, Tad, next one. Tad, he's going to draw two tangent lines. So a tangent line is different from a secant line because a tangent line only touches a circle in one spot, while a secant line touches a circle in two spots. That's kind of actually mentioned over here in the take note. So we should probably highlight the take note. A tangent to a circle is a line that intersects a circle in exactly one point. In fact, that's so important of a location. It's called the point of tangency. G. G is the point of tangency. Okay. All right. Tad, he drew two tangent lines to the circle, one through point L, there, and one through point G, there. Oh, we have a new vocab word. We have this vocab word circumscribed angle, GQL. So Q down here. I'm going to highlight, I guess in pink, uh, GQL, circumscribed angle. Highlighting the vocab it helps it stand out so you know what we're talking about. A circumscribed angle has its two sides tangent to the circle. Okay, cool. Um, let's highlight in that circumscribed angle. Cool. Okay. What conjecture can you make about the measures of the angles formed by tangent lines and the radii of a circle? I didn't draw on the radius. It says radii. So one of the radii of the circle, again, highlighting radii in yellow just so it's visible. Um, this is a radius of the circle because it goes from the center out. Radii means more than one radius. Uh, OG, the original gamer. Here we go. That's not what that means. I know. Okay. I notice this little box right here. That means that the tangent line and the radius are perpendicular. So I can put that little box right there too to say that this radius, ooh, need some highlight, radius OG and this tangent line, they meet and form right angles. I wonder if that actually makes like a kite. No, okay, the measures. Okay, what conjecture can you make about the measures of angles? I guess I just covered it. Here it is. When you draw a tangent line on the circle, the radius coming off the circle and that tangent line will make a 90 degree angle. The radius and the tangent line at that point of tangency will make a 90 degree angle. So radii, now we're going to get into some high level vocabulary here and finish this video out. Radii and tangent lines. meet and make 90 degrees. Furthermore, they are perpendicular. Oh my word. There it is. That's all of it, I didn't write any more. They are perpendicular. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you for the work that you've done to help learn so far. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, but get ready for lesson two. Thanks. Bye.